Well, let's switch gears for a second. Mm. It was announced recently that Mike Tyson, age 57, mm -hmm. is going to be fighting Jake Paul, mm. age 27, right. on July 20th on Netflix, mm -hmm. which is, I think, a first for Netflix to actually have a live fight. Yeah, right. I think so. Who you got? Uh, I got Mike Tyson. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I I'm sorry. I don't see how how Jake pulls this off. Um, I see Mike Tyson punching him in the body, and I I don't see how Jake stops that. Hmm. Jake is not of the size to give Mike a problem. Mike can be, you know, big guys would hold Mike. Guys with long reach that outweigh him. Yeah. Um, I think people that's Mike's weight, with Mike's center center of gravity, I don't I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop him. Uh, Mike hits him in the body. The body don't move that much. I uh, I don't see how Jake survives a body attack. Personally. Okay, I looked it up. Mike Tyson is two hundred twenty pounds. That's one pound less than his optimal weight. And Jake Paul is about 200 pounds. He's got about 20 pounds. Are difference. you kidding me? He's only 200? Yeah. Oh, gee. It's worse than I Th thought. That was his last fight. That's what he weighed in as. Yeah. Oh, boy. That means, I mean, because, I mean, he he fought Tommy Fury. Um, at He was 200 pounds when he fought Tommy Fury? Six foot one. Mike is what, five foot ten? Let me see. Huh. He's six one. Five foot I ten, don't... yeah. Five foot ten. So he got three inches well, on I him. I mean, I know I three inches I... for Mike Tyson is not a big deal, obviously. But mm. Tyson is fifty seven. And okay. I don't care. <laughs> when when, when Tyson could, fought yeah. Okay, so when Tyson mm. fought Roy Jones Jr., mm -hmm. I mean, he clearly won. But he did seem kind of winded during that fight. Roy Jones have skills that Jake will never have, even at that at that age. Jake's got a punch, but see, Jake has fought really tiny guys in comparison to him. Nobody was. I mean, only Tommy Fury that I know of as um as a. Uh, and then I happen to know, which is, you know, I, don't, I probably shouldn't say anything, because, you know, I was instrumental in you know, sometimes getting guys to spar with um, uh, Jake and his brother. Right. I mean, he lost to Tommy Fury. Yeah, but I know the guys that train with them okay. and how they do against them. So I'm a little like, you know, uh, it's kind of insider information there but uh, yeah I, I don't I don't I don't see I don't see Jake doing much against Mike so you definitely give it to Mike Tyson mm hmm I, I, I shouldn't I probably shouldn't freaking say anything because who am I to say that because I mean I don't want to mess with you know uh, these are people's uh, business, <laughs> so well, um, uh, it's, it's a fight. People are going to make predictions, and people are going to chime in. This is mm -hmm. the nature of a public fight. It's not like they're privately getting together, and we're yeah. the only ones who know about it. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, okay. It's a public I mean, fight on the biggest streaming platform in the world, yeah. Netflix. Yeah, it's true. Clearly, they want people to talk about it and, to hype hey, it up. I'm sure they, they appreciate this conversation right yeah, now. Yeah, Jake, uh, all power to him, man. What he he's done. Everybody's going to see that damn fight. Yes. Everybody's gonna see that. Oh, yeah. So Jake is never going to lose. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm sure his you know, payday, a, even he, with a loss, is yeah, yeah, insane. He, a loss is not a loss in this situation. Oh no. yeah, no, yeah. he even moved to Puerto Rico at one point, so he doesn't have to pay taxes. Mm. Is that that's how much money? Well, that's usually why people move okay. move to okay. places like Puerto Rico. Like, why else would you live in Puerto Rico when you're a U.S. citizen? Maybe you like Puerto Ricans, or maybe you don't want to pay taxes and you're <laughs> making hundreds of millions of dollars. And you can pocket an extra twenty, thirty million by uh -huh. staying in Puerto Rico for six months out the year. Yeah, you know what? I just Same reason why people move to Vegas, Florida, Texas. Hmm. These are not always the ideal places to live, but you don't pay income. Maybe tax. this is a stupid thing to say, 
But I don't know the difference between two hundred million and five and fifty million. Like well, I really don't. What what what's but different we're also about not your playing lifestyle? with two hundred million right now? Right, so yeah, yeah. who are yeah, we to yeah. say what's the difference? True, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I know people who are you know in the, those brackets. Listen, I would mm-hmm. love to fly private instead of flying first class, but unfortunately, I never fly private because I can't afford it. Mm-hmm. That's just the reality of you life. Fly, you've flown private before. One time I've flown private mm-hmm. when I was, and it wasn't even like a flight that I booked. We were staying in this island called Lanai, uh-huh. and we it was a, a an island that's essentially owned by Larry Ellison, and they have uh, two Four Seasons on the island, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And we had to fly into Honolulu and then take a private jet to that island, which was like maybe a 20-minute flight. Mm. And it was just us. And it was really like, it was crazy how turbulent it was because it's such a small plane. Like everyone brags about flying private, but it's not always the best experience because the planes are tiny. No, that's not my experience. Well, when I flew. Okay, you you might be talking about private just... Yeah, a twin engine or some exactly, shit like that. Yeah, small oh, okay. That, no, that's I'm not talking about private. That, private that's like the Air yeah. Drake. No, I've never. No, flown, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, never I, flown I in a G, truly like a G six. Luxu- yeah, no, that's, no, that's no. different. I've never, I've never flown like that. Oh, that, I just simply have never flown. Well, like that, that that's that to me is private. That's like you don't feel nothing. That's like a spaceship. Like yeah. if, that, that's I've never flown it. Yeah. Well, because listen, at the end of the day, like I fly to New York all the time, right? I'm about to go out there in a couple of days. Do I spend fifteen hundred dollars on a flight, or do I spend forty thousand on a flight? Well, I'm I mean, going to spend the fifteen hundred. I'm not going to spend forty thousand to go coast to coast. Well, yeah, it's, well, a lot of well, folks like like Tyler, like, like he has, like when when you have a private jet, it's not just yours. You usually share it. If you it's want like to, a, it's a timeshare thing. Because I mean, who's going to need a private jet twenty four seven? Right. Right. Usually that's the way I've known people to have their their situations. I've I've flown several times private, and I've known a lot of very rich people. And in my estimation, the richest people there's a there there's there's a balance that, or an imbalance, so to speak. I know people with humongous houses that have to live with a fucking bunch of uh, of of caretakers. Fuck that. Like, I would never want to do that. Big ass house. Now you got to have 24 7 gardeners and maids and what. And so you got to now, part of your job is directing people and having people in your space all the time. That may, that may be cool for a lot of people. Not me. I don't want that lifestyle. I don't want a house that's so big that I got to hire people to be in my damn house all the time. I'd, hate that you know and then so there's a whole thing there's there's a there's a certain personality thing so for me i I wouldn't change my lifestyle very much because i love my damn lifestyle i you know i i don't want to have a bunch of servants around me well with jake paul i feel that the main thing that he needs to get over is i feel that with most people there's an inherent fear of Mike Tyson because of his reputation. Mm-hmm. He knocks people out in 30 seconds. He'll bite your ear off. He'll eat your kids. Like he, all the crazy stuff that's mm-hmm. been said and done over the years. And I remember when I talked to uh, Holyfield, he kind of said the same thing. He said that Tyson usually beats people that are coming in the ring scared. But he said, I wasn't scared. And I had to mm-hmm. show him early on that I'm not scared of you. Right. That He said threw Tyson off, and that's why he was able to win both times. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, he won once. And he was, you know, Tyson was disqualified the second time, but he was winning that second match. Um, do you think that Jake Paul is going to be scared of Tyson coming in the ring? He should be. <laughs> and Tyson's going to be scared too. Mm. Tyson's always scared. Mm. He said it himself. That's that's one of his things. That's why he puts on that armor. You know, so you know that's. Uh, yeah. So he should fear Tyson's fear. Mm. But I mean, the way but the way I look at fighting, uh, I have a certain perspective that I, I enjoy it. I enjoy every aspect of it. That's why I love sparring people. I like testing myself. 
because, uh, you know, it's one of those things that maybe it's crazy, but you never feel more, for me, I never feel more alive than than those situations. Hmm. I really, one of the, I get hit, the first thing that happens is I smile. Because it's just like, I don't know, there's a certain fun to it, to me. But um, I would say if Jake has fun is the best, would be the best way of looking at that. Um, the fear thing sometimes, um, I don't know, I mean, it's, I, there's a little, I, you know, I can understand the fear a little bit beforehand, you know, anticipating. Sometimes that's a little nerve wracking, but embrace the fun of it, man. You get to fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> you're gonna want to one of the few people who get to 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 do that. Yeah, that that's like I say, I'm envious of that. You know, to to be able to do, man, are you kidding me? That's like a that's a dream. 